My name is Brent Stabener and I'm a consultant with Logan Consulting. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create a cash account in Acumatica ERP. In the cash management module, users operate with cash accounts. These accounts represent bank accounts and amounts of cash on hand. Each cash account is linked to a general ledger account. Multiple cash accounts can be linked to the same GL account. In the cash management module, users record cash entries on cash accounts and make fund transfers between accounts. Cash accounts are also used to record payments in the AR and AP modules. Once a document that is related to a cash account is released, the system automatically generates transactions to be posted to GL accounts in the GL module. Users can also create a cash account that represents a liability account for the accrual of expenses paid by a corporate credit card. Before creating cash accounts, we have to go to the segmented key forms, and that is under configuration, common settings, and then segmented keys, which is right here, segmented keys. So I will show you the one that I created called cash account right here and as you can see it has a one segment that is six digits long now the reason it's like this is because the account uh, the GL account segment for accounts is also six long uh, six characters long so to have the same cash account number and GL account number can be beneficial um, but you do not have to do that if you wanted to you could set it to three and use letters to uh, it's up to you. So after you create this segmented key ID, make sure you add the segment down here and then click save when you're done. Now let's go to the cash accounts form, which is in finance, cash management, and then in the work area under manage is cash accounts. And here you'll see one that I created called petty cash. Um, you have to give it a name right here and assign it the account and sub account is where you assign the GL account. Um, assign currency as well and give it a description. Uh, as you can see there's some other options here. You can mark something as a clearing account or you can um, restrict, restrict visibility with just one branch. Uh, up to you to, to, to decide these settings. And if you are going to make payments with this, um, whether it's an AP or AR, You'll want to click the plus, method, plus button down here in Payment Methods and check the boxes where you're going to be using this as a payment method. Uh, now for petty cash, uh, you have cash coming in and out usually, um, you know, whether it's $5 here, $10 there, $20 there, but you're going to be using them both ARAP, so set the uh, number to use and um, when you're done, click Save. So first you're going to create the segmented keys uh, for the cash account and then you're going to actually create the account in cash management. Um, on the chart of accounts form in the general ledger module, after you save this, um, the cash account checkbox will be selected. So that is how you determine that the cash, the GL account is linked to the cash management account. So lastly, we'll go to the Validate Account Balances form. And that is under Processes right here. And we go to Validate Account Balances. So you select the checkbox next to the, next to the cash account you just created. And click Validate to validate the account history. After the cash account is validated, the system will generate the transaction history for the cash account based on the transaction posted to the GL account assigned to it. So if you happen to create the GL account first, enter some transactions, and then need to create the cash account, you can do that after and still maintain the history. For more information, please visit our website at www.loganconsulting.com or contact us via email at info at loganconsulting.com or via phone at 312-345-8800.